Hello and Namaste everyone. Mm. And welcome to my channel, Engineer Style. It's me, Sonny Kapanova. So, I will continue to treat this ever problem, type 3 numerical. So, mm, this question was asked in Purvanchal University 2016 at 8 marks. In figure below, pipe 1 is 30 centimeter diameter and 900 meter long pipe 2 is 2 um, pipe 2 is 20 centimeter diameter and 250 meter long and pipe 3 is and pipe 3 is 15 centimeter diameter and 700 meter long the friction factor for all pipes is 0 0.03 the surface elevation and of reservoirs a, B, and C are 160 meter, 150 meter, and 20 meter respectively. Does the water enter or leave reservoir B also find the flow rate in each pipe? So we have give, give, given uh, length of pipe 1 900 meter uh, and diameter 40 centimeter that is 0 0.3 meter and length of pipe 2 250 meter and diameter 20 centimeter that is 0.2 meter and pipe 3 have diameter 15 centimeter that is 0.15 meter and length 700 meter the friction factor is 0.03 for all three pipes and surface elevation of reservoir a that is z a z1 that is 160 meter and z2 is 150 meter and z3 is 120 meter so um, does the water enter or leave reservoir b that means we have to calculate the direction of um, discharge in pipe 2 q2 uh, also find the flow rate in each pipe so first of all we have to um, find the direction in pipe 2 and then we have to calculate flow rate that means distance q1 q2 and q3 in all three pipes so we in this type of problem in type 3 problem we assume zj that means total head at j equals to total head at 2 z2 which is equal to yos2 is equal to z2 which is equal to um, this 150 meter so the formula to calculate r1 is 8 of l1 upon pi square g d1 raised to power 5 uh, f is 0 0.03 length is 900 meter and g is 9.81 and d1 is 0.15 D1, D1 is 0.3 Similarly, we calculate R2 and R3 So, this is the figure Z1, this is reservoir B And Z2, this is reservoir C And from the surface to the term line that is Z3 A, B and C Pipe 1, pipe 2, pipe 3, and this is zone sum. We know the direction from A to J and J to C, but we don't know the direction here. So we assume that uh, water does not flow. So Q is 0 mm. and Q is 0 because uh, total head at J is equal to total head at this B so head loss at pipe 1 is equal to total head at 
here z1 minus total head at here this is datum head and this is pressure head and so this is total head which is equal to 150 so 160 this is 160 this is 160 meter and this total head or your z is 150 meter so um, this its head loss which is equal to 10 meter then by using this formula we calculate q1 discharge at pipe one and again um, head loss at pipe 3 is equal to um, this is we have calculated 150 meter 150 meter and um, j3 is 120 meter j3 this is um, 120 meter so 150 minus 120 that is 30 meter so from here to here it's this is head loss in pipe 3 which is hf3 30 meter and um, by using this formula we can calculate u3 as we have already calculated r3 here we have already calculated r1 so now we have to look in this q1 and this q3 here q1 is greater q1 is uh, 0.104 which is greater than q3 that is um, 0.036 so um, this q1 is greater than this q3 so some of the discharge will go here so our direction is from j to b so water flows from j to b and this here we is continuity equation so q1 is equal to q2 plus q3 since water flow flows from j to b so this total head at j is greater than j2 so um, this is first iteration where we have calculated um, we have assumed jj to be 150 and we have calculated this all and found this negative negative means um, q2 is less than q1 minus q2 so it is negative negative means q2 this is the figure um, negative means q2 is less than this q1 minus q3 so to make this value to zero so we have to increase q2 since this is negative so by increasing q2 we get value nearly equals to zero so to increase q2 we have to increase this total head at um, j that means here j we have to increase so we have to increase we increase to 155 meter and calculate all this and found positive positive means q1 is greater than q1 minus q3 so to decrease to zero we have to decrease q2 to decrease q2 we decrease j to 154 we have slightly um, decrease to one meter decrease by one meter because it's nearly equal to zero so we have calculated this 
by using above um, by using previous formula and equation so again we got positive positive means this is greater than this so to reduce distance we reduce it at z so and we by this way we do the second iteration third and finally to fourth iteration because this is nearly equal to zero so we stop the iteration and q1 is written from here 0.083 q2 is written from here 0.044 and q3 is written from here that is 0.038 meter cube per second so i have drawn this table from excel sheet so let me teach you in excel sheet also mm. so if we have given this z1 z2 and z3 in question and r1 r2 and r3 we have calculated so we draw this table yot j yot f1 yot f2 yot f3 q1 q2 q3 and finally q2 minus q1 minus q3 first of all we assume this yot j to be 150 meter and yot f1 yot f1 is it lost in pipe 1 which is equal to this z1 minus uh, this 150 z1 is constant so we put dollar here mm. Lord here and here it means b29 it's constant yeah so we got the value 10 and yet f2 it's mm, yet f2 it's mm, this yet j minus this so this is constant so we put two dollar here before b and after b so we got a loss zero and yet f3 it's um, it is yet j minus this j3 since this column is fixed so we put two dollar symbol here to make it fixed so we got 40 and q1 q1 is given by rearranging of a formula q1 is um, square root of square root of uh, yes f1 divided by r1 so since r1 is fixed this is constant so we put two dollar symbol here one over here and one in here and close the bracket and hit enter so we fixed up to three decimal so um, we round this value up to three decimal so it gives zero point one zero four similarly q2 
equals square root of VHF2 divided by R2. So since R2 is constant, so we get the dollar sign here and here. So close the bracket. Q2 is 0 here, but may not be 0 down. So we round around this value up to comma 3 why q2 is yes q2 is 0 here yes. because we have assumed that flow does not take place in pipe 2 initially and q3 is square root of Mm. 3 divided by R3 and R3 is constant throughout the table so dollar here and dollar sign here close the bracket and again round this value R O U N D So this is uh, Q2 Q2 is this minus bracket Q1 is this minus Q3 is this and close the bracket and hit enter so the value is negative because q2 is less than q1 minus q3 so to make it zero we have to increase q2 to increase q2 we have to increase yards j to let or to 155 so we repeat the above iteration zero five and this is this is thirty five and this should be zero point zero seven four and this should be zero point zero five one and this should be zero point zero three nine and this should be zero point zero one six by using our formula so since this is positive that means q2 is greater than q1 minus q3 to become zero q3 should be reduced to reduce q2 we should reduce the value of your j to maybe 1 154 because it's nearly to zero so drag this it becomes seven we drag this so it becomes 4 and this becomes 34 so q1 is root under yf1 by r1 so q2 is root under yf2 that is 4 divided by r1 uh, no r2 1936.567 and q3 is Root on the YHF3 that is 34 divided by R3 22849.896 and this is Q2 minus Q1 minus Q3. So this value is nearly equals to 0. So we can stop here, but I will do uh, further one step. Since this is positive, Q2 is greater. So to reduce Q2 we have to reduce this yard to 153.7 this is assumed value you can take any so drag this and this 
this will be 33.7 this is 0 0.083 this is 0 0.044 and this should be 0 0.038 and this should be minus 0 0.001 since this is close to 0 so we stop the iteration we can stop the iteration here also but I have um, taken one more iteration so I have copied this table to my powerpoint uh, this is the powerpoint and this here so the value of p1 p2 is in this last table we take that and we can in this here so this is the difference Follow me on social media. Thanks for watching.